Hello everyone. In this video today, I'm going to talk to you about what is kidney function test or simply renal function test. Okay, kidney function test or renal function test. Kidneys, they disease, kidney disease, they often ha um, has often have no symptoms until your kidneys are badly damaged. Uh, testing is especially important if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, or a family history of kidney disease. There are different kinds of kidney function tests that can be performed uh, to examine the health status of your kidney to check if your kidney has disease or not. These different kinds of tests include EGFR test or estimated glomerular filtration test, serum creatinine test, blood urea nitrogen test, urine test, kidney ultrasound and kidney biopsies. About all these different tests I will talk in details in the later part of this video. So let's first start, start with EGFR or estimated glomerular filtration rate. So what are glomeruli? These are the tiny filters present in your kidney. Okay, So glomeruli are the tiny filters. They are present in your kidney and these filters they remove toxins or simply waste from your blood. Estimated glomerular filtration rate or simply EGFR, it is rate. Therefore, it is measured per, per minute. So measures how much blood these filters can clean every minute based on your body size. Okay, so how much blood can be cleaned uh, by these glomerular filters every minute based on your body size, that is called estimated glomerular filtration rate. So the only way to know your EGFR is to have a blood test to check how much creatinine is present in your blood. So what is creatinine? Creatinine is an amino acid. So EGFR is calculated using your creatinine level is gender, race, slash, ethnicity. Okay? So then what is the normal level of EGFR? So EGFR level of more than 60 if you have EGFR more than 60, 60 or above, that is the normal result for the most people. Uh, you, you may ask your doctor when you should be tested again and you can follow a healthy lifestyle to prevent kidney disease. But if your EGFR is less than 60, that means that if you have less than 60 EGFR for 3 months or more, uh, that could mean you have kidney disease. Okay, So if you have EGFR less than 60, or more that means that you have kidney disease and if this was your first EGFR test then you may ask your doctor when when you will need to be tested again but very important guys if you have EGFR less than 15 and EGFR of less than 15 could mean that you have kidney failure failure and you need to visit your doctor immediately okay so these are the different levels of EGFR rate so and these different levels indicate different status of your kidney. And then now moving to the another type of uh, another type of the kidney function test that is called serum creatinine test. Creatinine is a waste product. It is an amino acid, so it is present in your blood that comes from your muscles. Okay, it is a waste product that is present in your blood. So healthy kidneys filter creatinine out of your blood through your urine. So if the, if, if, if the kidneys are healthy, then they can filter creatinine out of your blood through your urine. But if they are not healthy, that means the creatinine cannot be filtered uh, through the kidneys. So which means that the serum creatinine level on the blood will be higher. Okay. So serum creatinine level is based on the blood test that measures the amount of creatinine in your blood. It tells how well your kidneys are working. So when your kidneys are not working properly, your serum creatinine level goes up. Okay, so basically we have these uh, filters, glomerular filters in, in our kidney and if our kidneys are working well, they can easily filter this crit creatinine. This is an amino acid, the waste product uh, from, the, from the blood. But if they are not functioning properly, then this will not be filtered um, well from the, from by the by the kidneys hence the level of creatinine in the serum will be higher so higher level of serum creatinine indicates kidney problem so normal creatinine level 
uh, 0 0.7 to 1.3 milligram per deciliters for males and 0 0.6 to 1.1 milligram per deciliters for females so if these levels are higher than these values these values that means that there is a kidney problem okay there is a kidney problem okay so 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 this is a very very important test um, to examine the health status of your kidney so now moving on to another kidney function test that is called blood urea nitrogen test or simply BU, BUN test so blood urea nitrogen level is based on a blood test that measures the amount of urea nitrogen in the blood so amount of urea nitrogen present in the blood is measured in blood urea nitrogen test so urea nitrogen it is a waste product that your body makes after it breaks down the protein okay so we, because we eat food and our food also contains proteins carbohydrates and fat so urea nitrogen is when the protein is broken down so that then we, uh, one of the product one of the waste product is blood urea nitrogen so these healthy kidneys they take urea nitrogen out of your blood so basically this urea nitrogen will be removed okay will be um, uh, excreted or the removed will be removed from the blood will be eliminated from the blood by the kidneys if our kidneys are healthy but when your kidneys are not working well that means that blood urea nitrogen level goes up okay so blood urea nitrogen level goes up when the kidneys are not working well so that means that higher level of blood urea nitrogen is an indication of kidney problem or kidney disease so what is considered a normal BUN level so, uh, so in general uh, 7 to 20 milligram per deciliter is a normal level 7 to 20 milligram per deciliter but higher than the normal uh, blood urea nitrogen level may be a sign that your kidneys are not working well so higher level okay so higher level of blood urea nitrogen indicates kidney problem so now moving to another type of kidney function test that is called urine test here the urine is examined by the doctor so basically the, the, the doctor a small amount of urine is mm, mm, taken and that it checks for the signs of kidney disease and other health problems when your kidneys are damaged uh, they may let proteins leak into the urine so there may be specific proteins that may leak into the urine this can be one of the earliest signs of kidney disease okay so another kidney function test is kidney ultrasound so w one way your doctor can look at your kidneys is by doing kidney ultrasound so basically a kidney ultrasound also called renal ultrasound is a safe and pain mm, painless imaging test that uses sound waves to make pictures of your kidney and the doctors examines the pictures of your kidney to find out if there is any problem so basically it's a painless method where kidneys are examined okay by taking the pictures of the kidney using the sound okay so using the sound waves okay then the last type of kidney function test is called kidney biopsy so biopsy that means that a small piece of okay so from a small piece of the kidney so a small piece of the kidney will be taken so a small piece of the kidney will be taken and this piece of the kidney will be examined by the okay how it is examined so basically they will perform different kind of immunohistochemistry chemical analysis to see that if there is a, any problem in the kidney so they come that is uh, for the kidney function test one is kidney biopsy kidney ultrasound urine test blood urea nitrogen test serum creatinine test EGFR so this explains 